everybody out there all right so as you can see i already started braiding because i am going to do my first wash and i braided it and i put the band on it so braid and band it but i don't know the rest hey all right so i'm just going to show you guys so i take a good bit of hair actually at first i was doing it small i have done this about a hundred times already <laughs> there is an art to this so you see how I have it pulled taut down this way? Do not braid like that. Pull it upward because then you'll be able to really get your hands in between. So the whole goal is not to braid it tight. Braid it loose enough where your hands can get to your scalp when you are washing your hair. Now when you braid it this way, up here will be loose but down here will be tight. So you wouldn't be able to get as high up when you're in the shower. I found it out the hard way and I had to literally take pretty much almost all of these out to redo them and that's why i decided to do bigger chunks too because it just makes more sense so i'm going to hold it outward and taut and yeah you guys are not going to be able to see my face while i'm doing this but that's fine and i'm just going to braid it now there are a hundred different braiding videos on youtube so i will not be showing i mean if you want to look you can look but i won't be like stopping to explain further how to braid um but yeah so you see my braid is starting way down and as I go lower, I'm just going to braid it a little tighter, not too tight, because I want the water to get through it too. Um, but just a little closer so that no strays will get too loose while I'm in the shower and I'm not aware of it. So I was making more so that I can keep on braiding. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to do this around my whole head. I'm thinking at most I'll probably have maybe about six I don't, I don't think it'd be more than six, maybe like five to six braids total. And then what I do at the ends, I just start to twist towards the bottom. Now, I did go to my loctician because the last video I was showing you guys how I was having all this hair at the ends. Um, and so some of them were literally just dead hair that had come out. But I did have where my hair, because it's so coily, it was actually attaching to itself. So it was causing, it was doing that. And that's where those quote unquote fat bottoms were coming from. So from now on, all I have to do is separate that, separate it, and then I will have the actual hair at its full length. So I'm happy I didn't try to just rip those off or anything like that, because that was my actual hair. I could have done damage. It just happened that it was attaching to itself like that. So all of that has been fixed. Um, it really wasn't much to do and yeah it was really nice of her to see me because i really didn't want to wash my hair because you know when your hair is wet and it's not right it can make things worse and i have no slippage so i don't think i ever defined what slippage is so slippage is when the hair actually moves downward or it can actually happen in between where it'll slide downward and it'll just be hair without any locks down the whole shaft of the hair it can happen at any point the end the middle the um root so she looked at my hair and she was yeah she was pleasantly happy that i have no slippage so you see even though i held it taut it's still tighter down here than it is up here but i can still get my fingers through all right and that's what you want you want to be able to scrub that scalp so yeah so that is pretty much it for the braid and band it what so i'm about to band it right now here it is she gave me a whole bunch of these in her customized oh my goodness guys she gave me a picture of the consultation um it was really nice in a really tiny little frame it was really cute and i have my picture of my consultation day when i got my sample locks in there which is really really sweet um she gave me bands she gave me um shower caps she gave me the shampoo of course um she gave me quite a number. Oh, she gave me a silk bonnet. Oh, actually, I'm doing this too, way too much. I only did it twice. Talking to you guys. <laughs> I'm happy I caught that because I would have been angry. Because, you know, to take this off, well, I would let my hair dry first completely. That's what you're supposed to do. After you wash your hair, let your hair dry completely before you try to remove these, even though you are cutting them off. Because I, um, she told me to cut them because you know how it is. Trying to get these things off the right way it always snags and causes issues. And then you're in the wash, you know, you're moving your hands, you're rubbing and agitating it. So it's not going to be an easy maneuver, okay? So to avoid 
any damage to your hair just cut them bad boys off when you come out but for right now to put them on i'm literally just crossing one time and putting them on i don't want them too tight because to find you know to stretch it out it's going to be really hard on my hair to cut it so yeah two times was just enough as you can see braid and bend it what i think i'm gonna you know have to hashtag that what did that that lady did hot girl summer she she uh trademarked it or something yeah i'm gonna say braid and bend it uh. so <laughs> y'all don't buy me at all so yeah that's all there is to it as you can see i have one two three um i have a couple in the back but i'm gonna have to redo them because they're too small and too tight to my scalp so yeah i'm gonna do up here is there anything else that i need to say um so my first retie is going to be i believe the first week of june so just now just now i don't know if you guys can see some flakes falling so i can't wait to wash it that's why I didn't want to wait until the actual 25th. <laughs> I know it's the 22nd, but yeah, I didn't wait a full month, you guys. I'm cheating a little bit. I'm cheating. But I got a lot going on this week with um, Nevetica. We're going to be doing our presentations every day, which is going to be fantastic. Prime opportunities to get more people involved. It is such a phenomenal company. Um, so I'll be presenting a lot. So I just wanted to get this out of the way. We're starting tomorrow at 3 so i just wanted to get this out of the way so that way yeah i'm good to go so i'll just do one more for you guys so again i'm holding it up so that way my hands can get in so i need to braid it just like this so i'm separating it in three and you're just pretty much crossing it a whole bunch of times i don't even think i'm technical enough or it's such a habit to break it down which one is going over what yeah, you guys wouldn't want me to explain it really and truly. Um, but yeah, like I said, to, I think this is more called plait versus braid. Or it could be braid. I mean, whatever floats your boat. So, Lord, doing this in a camera. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, as you can see, it's loose at the root and not too taut in the actual braid itself. So I want that shampoo to get through to all of it. Yeah, I'm just going to do it all the way to the end. So I'm going to look away from the camera so that way I can do it a little faster. But yeah, as you can, I don't know if you guys can hear the music, but my husband's doing his happy two hours <laughs> each and every Friday. DJ Nitrin. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So he's down in the basement doing his thing. I'm upstairs, not even on the main floor, up in the top floor but i love hearing the music he plays everything you guys when i say everything i mean everything so you see started twisting it at the bottom about to braid it so it's already braided so i'm about to band it and as you can see there's like a little bit of hair here i'm not going to do anything with that let that be let it be all right and like i said i'm just going to do this once and that is it good to go booyah in eight minutes y'all ain't that some good stuff videos eight minutes long all right so yeah scrubby 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 squeezy 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 out the water and i should be good i look sexy y'all i look sexy all right you guys so if you have any questions definitely dm me uh yeah this is pretty much all there is so every time i wash my hair from now until probably like a year and a half two years <laughs> i will be braid and banding hey so just to make sure that nothing happens to them and then completely let it dry before you cut the bands off do not try to unravel these bands because you're washing and you're you're agitating it so you don't want to be struggling with tangled areas and just doing damage to your hair so i hope this video was informative i got some pics for you guys so i'll be posting those pretty soon other than that thank you for joining me on quest to freedom Quest to freedom, my sister lock journey. You guys have a good one. Be safe out there.